Okay, so this is how you are going to uh, translate in Trados and then you need to run the QA and you save the QA and then share with your clients. So for example, this is how I completed the translation. Okay. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so for example, this has completed translation for 100%. So you can close this one or you can just go to project, right click on it, and then you go to batches and you verify. Wait for a moment. Next. And then finish. Okay, so you found. 39 uh, message report close then you open it okay and then you go to uh, reports you see the report 39 um, you have errors 14 and the warning of 25 so you look at here uh, the details here Okay, details of uh, this is message about errors and then this is source this is target so you want to save this one you can just save as and I'm going to just put a name um, for example this is a test and just try and then yeah, for example this one then you just this is for translation phase and then after that you go to where you save it, for example, so save it in, oh, where is it? let's see, in download, okay, you can see here, download, and I put it here, so you can see all the reports here, okay, and you can visit one by one, which is string, one, and see if um, these errors need to be corrected, or it is a false report. So for some other language, uh, they don't have initial capitalization, so you can just ignore this one. Alright, so yeah, and then after you fix it, you can again, uh, after you finish uh, fixing it, let's go to editors. After you finish um, checking all those files again, you can just go to report again, and then save the second time. And then you, maybe you just put this one, this is uh, a PR face. Yeah. So all done with this. So you have two five. Yeah, let's check. Okay, you have the QA for translation and also for proofreading, and you send this along with the translation file that you have. Um, yeah, for this project. To share along with this one with your client in case they need it so that's all for this video thank you